There we go. Hit the got it. We just we just popped on the space shuttle. They were counting down. They were going, you know, 30. And the captain on a space shuttle just said, fire it up. I'm, I can't handle it. I can't wait any longer. So anyway, welcome on YouTube. We jumped on just a moment early. Ben, go ahead and throw down that big mute or carry. And we are going to get nice and muted and quiet. And uh, for a lot of us, here comes Sandy. Uh, Wednesday. It is Wednesday. It's a Wednesday workout uh, for a lot of us here. If you're on YouTube, I don't know what day it is for you, but it is a great time to be exercising. I tell you that you came to YouTube at a good time to watch an exercise video. And remember, you can watch the videos with us or you can participate. This is going to be a full workout. You can do uh, as many of the exercises as you feel comfortable. And we just want to make sure that you're having fun and we're enjoying fitness. And we're also maybe getting ideas for things we can do in the future, things we can do with our friends. One of the things I was doing with my friend Carla earlier is we were eating an apple. We were all having apples. Who likes apples? If you do, you can raise your hand, wave your hand. I like apples. I was talking about how I pretty much eat an apple every single day. Um, I just, I like apples in the morning, especially they're nice and crisp and they really, they give you a good uh, bit of energy. If you're feeling kind of tired, you know, some people they'll have, um, you know, a, a lot of sugar and maybe like a cereal, maybe like a waffles or like a French toast. Um, but those are, those aren't the kind of sugars we want to start our day with. We want to start our day with, with those real simple sugars. And you're going to find a lot of those in the fruits and the vegetables. So. Uh, also, we want to make sure we're having water. I got a big bottle of water right here. Let's see. This was 33.8 ounces. Let's see if I can drink it all. Okay, we'll get you for lunch just in case. Drink it all during the workout. All right. And uh, let's check in with Carrier Ben. Let's see if we have anybody for that breathing motto to get us kicked off. Remember, I got it on the back of my T-shirt here, and a lot of you will too soon. Um, let's see. Carrie, what do you think? We don't have anyone. What about you? You're on mute. Okay. All right, let's do it. Nice, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Our co-host, fearless leader, Carrie, going to kick us off. Let me find you first. Okay, take a moment. Yeah, no problem. Everybody, let's go ahead and remember thinking about our deep breaths. It's oxygen is going in and the carbon dioxide going out. Are Breathe in the good. Breathe out the bad. Breathe in, you're happy. Breathe out, you're sad. Breathe out your best. Breathe out the worst. Breathe in your power so you can reach your goal first. Job. Excellent job. Great job, Carrie, kicking us off. Again, she is also co-hosting this workout and so it's exciting you get the pilot coming on the microphone saying hey everybody we're taking this plane off and we're flying to fitnessville uh well that was your pilot speaking and again thank you carrie for kicking us off with that workout we're going to get started off with um a little bit of our traditional warm-up if you can't see on this background behind me we have a kind of hawaiian scene in the background, we got Karen joining us. Everybody give the wave to Karen. Hey, Karen's in the house, everybody. And you're in the house too. We also got Tim in the house. Everybody give the wave to Tim. Yeah, Tim. Great to have you on here, Tim. Thanks for joining us, my man. Let's go ahead and pretend that we are maybe, and we're, I know I don't think anybody on here is at this place. This is Hawaii in the background. I believe it's Hawaii. It looks like Hawaii. Let's go ahead and pretend we're around Hawaii. And let's just go ahead and take a look around with our neck movements going left and right, going up and down with the ear lift, the giraffe neck. Let's go ahead and move our head around this screen. So here we go. I'm gonna start off and move my head over to the right side. And I'm gonna hold it over here for just a few seconds, move it over here to my left side. Just holding it over here, just a few seconds on each side. And you can move at your own speed. If you wanna move your neck over to the other side, maybe before I say it, that's okay. But we're just kind of nice and remember, this is slow too. We're moving really slow. We're just trying to kind of think about drawing a line, a straight line with your nose in the air. If you imagine that, your head will be moving and it will get that side to side movement. All right, let's go ahead and go with the up and down. So I'm going to start with up. We'll bring it up first to start. 
looking up at the sky up here in Hawaii. Look at some clouds in this in the sky there. And then looking down, we're looking down kind of at that valley. And can you imagine living down there? What a spot. Let's go ahead and bring our eyes back up. Check out the clouds. You can probably see a lot of stars at night if you live in a place like this. Let's bring our eyes back down again. Look in the valley. Looking for some four rent signs for Coach Joan. There we go. Bringing our head back up. One more time. Let's hold it up here. Kind of looking at the clouds. And then bringing it down one more time, kind of checking out the ocean, the sand, all the, the valley down there with the trees and relax. All right. Now let's go ahead. We're going to do kind of ridge line to ridge line. You know, we're going to go ahead and let's look up over here this direction. And, you know, like we're looking at the ridge line over here, checking out the ocean. And then we're going to bring our head down, looking down at the valley, looking at all the houses down there. Not many, actually. And then bring it up. Over here, now I'm looking up over at this ridge line over here. Let's go ahead and bring it back down. I wonder what kind of animals we would find out here. They probably got some uh, some wild boars out there, and they probably got some uh, deer. Let's bring it on back down again, bringing it down this way. Probably got some big cats or something running around out there. Who knows? Who knows about the Hawaiian animals? You know, when you're when you're on an island. There's not always a lot of animals like we have on the big continent. So Hawaii doesn't have all the animals. They don't have bears and things like that out in Hawaii. Let's bring our head. There we go. One more time looking for bears just to double check. All right. Nice. Let's go ahead and listen. I'd imagine the sounds we would be hearing out up here. We're up in the mountains in Hawaii. There's a volcano and beautiful ocean here. And let's go ahead and lift our ear and see if we can listen to any sounds. What would we hear up here? Birds, birds chirping for sure. Getting that stretch in our neck all right through here. Let's go ahead and bring our head back to the middle. Let's go up on this side. What, what might we hear from the mountains up this way? Waterfall? Possibly in Hawaii, probably. Stretching out our neck, lifting my ear, bringing my shoulder down, bringing my head right back to the middle. Let's go back to this way. And again, what would we hear on this side? Trying to get a good ear lift, focusing on the ear going up, the shoulder going down, maybe listening to the waves, right? Absolutely. And then let's go back here on this side. What would be something you probably hear right here from this tree? The wind, right? Let's bring it on. I'll hold it there. Three here. Listen to the wind going through the trees and relax. Who's ever been in the outdoors and it's been nice and windy and that wind's blowing through the trees and it's almost as if you can hear the wind. You can hear the wind moving through the trees. It's incredible. Let's have a sip of water and uh, we'll keep on. Moving along with our workout. We got giraffe head turtleneck next. I saw Bernie. Bernie, look, I saw you getting ready to type and I went for the water. Let's do it. Let's have a sip of water right now. I beat you. I beat you to the punch. Yep. I've been training with Alicia and I'm, I'm quick on the moves now. I saw Bernie going in. She likes to get us on that first water break, but I caught it. Let's go ahead and we have one more giraffe head turtleneck. So let's try to sit up again, nice and tall. I kind of like to do a sideways so you can see how I'm keeping my shoulders here, keeping them back. And I'm just bringing my head forward. There we go. Holding it out. Three, two, one. And then I'm bring it back. And I'm just kind of bringing my chin back, kind of tucking my chin. And you're going to feel these muscles in the back of your neck. Let's go out here again, bringing it out with the giraffe neck. And this is very slow, everybody. Remember, if, if this brings you any discomfort, you don't want to do it. You don't want to be doing the things that you want to be doing the things that bring you discomfort. You want to do the things that feel good and help you kind of engage with those muscles with your mind. You're really thinking about how do the muscles feel? Can you feel the muscles? Three, two, one, and relax. Remember, if you're thinking about your muscles, if you're thinking about feeling them, like Coach Emily had us do the other day with that meditation, that was fantastic. Um, you can really connect with your muscles. And we're actually going to do some of that today. We're going to do an exercise I like to do. Uh, we used to do it with my friend Coach Marty a lot. and He's been so busy. He hasn't been able to join us on the workout. So I'm going to do uh, a little bit of what Coach Marty's done for us in the past. So we'll have to see if we have time, uh, Bernie. I know we got Byron's going to be doing some leadership today. And Carla is going to be doing some leadership. She'll be using a, a, a weight, maybe two weights, weights. And Byron, you know, is going to be having that sandbag and exercise stick. So be ready for that. 
Um, Nick, what do you think, though, that we're going to see from Byron? I have no idea. Because Byron always just lets the creativity flow. And remember, when you don't know something, you do the shoulder shrug. You're doing your trapezius raise. So let's raise those trapezius. Let's raise our arms up. You can see it lifts my arms up in the air. And then when I bring them down, I can bring them down to the kind of resting <coughs> position, but I can also bring them, I can bring them down a little bit. I can bring them back. Think about your shoulder blades going down and engage those muscles in your kind of middle of your back. So here we go, bringing them up with the trapezius, bringing it down with the shoulder blades. Remember, we have two shoulder blades in the middle of our back. And when we raise our arms up, we're raising the shoulder blades up. When we move down, the shoulder blades are, they're depressing. They're moving down. The shoulder blades can also move in and out. They're like wings. If we had wings, that's where our wings would connect. And imagine all the movements wings can make. That's shoulder blades. That's what they can do. We just don't have wings. We have arms. Imagine all the things our arms can do. That's right. That's why we're exercising. Let's go up one more time. Just a regular lift, bringing them up and then uh, bringing them down. Holding them down. Let's hold them down for three, two, one. All right, nice job. Let's go ahead and do, next up, we're going to do an armpit squeeze with an elbow lift. So we're going to combo those two exercises. We're going to do it on one side and on two sides. We got Jamie coming in. We got a lot of folks coming in still joining us. If you're just now joining us on YouTube, Go back to the beginning and then you'll catch up to this part. You're on YouTube. You can watch it anytime. But here we go. We're going to start off with a squeeze and then we're going to go ahead and go into an elbow lift. And I want you to feel maybe just how, how easy your arm is just going to float right up. All right, here we go. We're going to squeeze for about three seconds. And let's go in three, two, one. Let's squeeze. Three, two, one. And then bringing them up. Hold it. Three, two, one. Bringing it down. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Bringing them up. Hold it. Three. Two, one, bringing it down, squeeze, three, two, one, and up, three, two, one, bringing it down, squeeze, three, two, one, bringing it up. Can you feel those muscles in there? Two, one, let's go one more time. Here we go. Three, two, one, bringing it up, and three, two, one, and at the request of our producer, we're going to get ready for that kayak row. So practice. A little bit of kayak row and get your kayak row going because I'll tell you what, if you were in Hawaii, this would be something that you might get into. Ben wanted to go kayaking again. And so here we are, everybody. If you missed it the other day, we are back in the water, kayaking through the water. This is a Byron Classic right here. And again, just moving those arms. Now, remember, there's a lot of ways we can do the kayak row. You can see me right here with my Hand holding, alternating elbow kayak row. Okay. That's one style. What would be another style I could do? Hands on the paddle. And I'm and I'm dipping it in the water. So I have to use my imagination. A little big splash. I to use my imagination, but I'm just kind of dipping the paddle through the water and I'm just moving around. So wherever my hand goes, I have to imagine, I have to use stability and strength. You know, here's here's in the rapids. I might be doing this kind of paddling where I got, again, my hands are on the handle. Let's see if I can link it up. This looks better. At the beginning, that wouldn't have been, what kind of handle is that? That's not a handle. Here we go. So I got my hands kind of close together and imagine they're holding onto a bar. So if I freeze at any time, you can picture a bar is right there between my hands. Do you feel that in your shoulder blades? I do. Feeling it back there. Keep it going through the rapids. Dig it in, dig it in, dig it in. Shh. Oh, look, you can see how those people are doing. This is the, the, they call this the long stroke here where they got the hands going up real high up over the top and bringing it down across. This is kind of like a canoe yak and they're moving through the water. Oh, here's the man in the wheelchair. So now here we go with the paddle. And so one hand is going around the top and the other hand is down at the bottom. Ooh, this is, this is a tricky one without the paddle. You got to use your imagination. Here we go. I'm, I'm still haven't figured it out on this side. Here we go. I think I got it. Ooh, that is a tough one to do. I'm going back into this one right here. It looks like what we got. I'm going to go all the way back to this one. Who is feeling it in your deltoids? If you are, raise your elbows. <laughs> Everybody, that's great. 
keep it going. Oh, Bernie's got the exercise stick. She's doing it with the exercise stick. Go, Bernie, go. Keep it going. There you go. Nick's feeling it. Nick's got his hand up. He's going to be triple tire. There we go. He's got two arms up and a YouTube uh, Zoom arm up. Here we go. Paddling through. Paddling through the weeds. We got to get through these weeds. Here we go. I'm switching up my technique again. I think we have one more style to go. And here it is. Look at this. She's canoeing through the water. Look at this lady in that outrigger. Remember, this is the one you want. If you don't want to have to worry about getting wet and flipping over, you get in the outrigger and you go out on some nice smooth water and you just have a blast. Every, every bit of energy you put into the paddle is going to translate into speed on the water. So you can go slow, you can go fast, but it's your choice. And again, if you have a chance this summer, summer's coming up for a lot of us. If you have a chance this summer to do a kayaking experience, try to take advantage of that opportunity. You will not regret it. Um, again, look at all, all this kayaking going on behind me. There we go. Back to Hawaii. Good call, Ben. I like it. Let's have a sip of water. That also got our core moving and grooving. Got our arms moving and grooving. All right. Next up for the core, let's go ahead and do, hmm, I'm thinking abdominal squeeze. Well, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling about combos today. I'm thinking an abdominal squeeze then with a, a double twist reach. So we're going to do com, we're going to squeeze, we're going to go squeeze. We're going to squeeze our abdominals. Let's do about a 50% squeeze. All right. About 50%. I just, I thought it out. I was like, you know, that right there, let's all go for 50. And then we're going to relax the squeeze. And then we're going to go for over the shoulder reach, over the shoulder reach, or maybe go across the body reach, across the body reach. If that's difficult, go for an out in front reach. But I want you to set a goal for yourself of trying to cross that midline, trying to get across the water. Across, I said across the water. I was reading the word water as I was supposed to say the word midline. You got it, Karen. Water up, everybody. Here we go. We're in a rainforest. Got to stay hydrated. Bernie's working on her, her chatting there. All right. Bernie's, go, Bernie's going for it. All right, everybody. Here we go. Squeeze, reach, reach. We're going to do about 10 of these. All right. In three. Two, one, and squeeze. We're gonna go five, four, three, two, one. Reach, reach. Now remember, you're gonna relax your squeeze before you reach. All right. If you don't relax the squeeze, it's did you did anybody feel that? Did anybody feel that? If you don't relax, it it's kind of tough to reach, right? Your abdominal muscles are holding you. That's what their job is. All right, let's try it again. See if you feel it. We're going to go squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. And then reach, reach. Did anybody feel that? How that, those muscles there, they're doing their job. Here we go, bringing our elbows up. Or we can even do the plank, and then you can pop up, Nick, if you want. Here we go, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, reach, reach. Back up. Five, four, squeeze, two, one. Reach. Reach, back up, squeeze, five, four, three, two, one, reach, reach, let's do two more, squeeze, five, four, three, two, one, reach, reach, last one, squeeze, five, four, three, two, one, reach, reach, ooh, neat, isn't it, when you engage those muscles, similar to how when we squeezed our armpits and then raised our arms, we kind of felt like, Ooh, wow, they really kind of fly up. Well, again, it's you're firing up the team. And when you do that squeeze, you're firing up your abdominal team. And you could feel if you didn't relax them, they were really trying to, to hold on to you to keep you in position. And I think our next exercise is going to be a sip of water because then we are going to do something a little different. This is going to be my coach, Marty, um, shout out to coach Marty. I know he likes, he watches on YouTube. So I know you're watching this coach Marty. And what we're going to do everybody is a little bit of the uh, taps. So we're going to work on the taps, but then we're going to create a reaction game. So we're going to make two games out of this and they're both going to be, uh, games that are going to help us to learn about the body as well. And so let's get ready. I'm going to scoot back a little bit here in my, in my chair and I'm going to start 
we did test out and it, it seems there is just enough room for me to be able to stand up. So I, I possibly might stand up during this exercise um, to show, but I think I got a pretty good spacing here too. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, and Coach Emily's had us do this too. I love this exercise, but we're just kind of tapping on our body. So right now I'm kind of tapping on my legs. Bring it down just a little bit more. There we go. So tapping on my legs. And remember, we're tapping on, these are our quadriceps. So go ahead and if you want, let's tap with, starting off with two hands if we can. And then we're gonna go with our right hand. So let's go with just our right hand. We can maybe even just hold our left hand up and I'm tapping with my right hand. Now my right hand, this is part of the game. We gotta remember, my right hand is we're gonna call number, we're gonna call one. Okay, if you want, you can also be tapping on a desk. If you're somewhere and you wanna make some noise, up on the desk, make a little noise in the room. Now, if, if right hand's number one, then left hand is two. So let's go ahead and tap with two. So now we've got one up and we're tapping with two. And we're just steady tapping. You can do a slow tap. You can do a fast tap. Which one do you like to do? I like kind of a steady tap, right? Kind of like a heartbeat tap. But again, we're tapping with two and we got one in the air. Now, if I was gonna say three, well, three doesn't mean three, three means two. So now we're gonna go back to two. And that's all we gotta remember. We gotta remember one, two, and three. All right, so that's gonna come into play in a little bit as we're doing our taps. So let's go ahead, we're tapping our legs. Let's go ahead and tap our head and let's do a three tap. So a three tap is gonna be with two hands. You can tap the top of your head. You can tap the back of your head. You can tap the side of your head. You can tap the front of your head. Tap your face, tap your cheeks, right? Tap your chin, tap your nose, tap your forehead. Don't tap your forehead too hard. Tap your ears, right? Tap our, what? we got our hair. Okay, so let's go ahead and start tapping down a little bit, tapping our neck now. Right? Tapping our neck, tapping maybe the back of our neck. Still doing two. Tap in the front of our neck. All right, tap in our shoulders. With the number three tap, that's the two hands tapping. Let's go tap in on our chest. Tap in on our chest, nice. This is what uh, in the wild, what kind of animal taps on its chest to let everybody know it means business. Let's tap on our biceps, right? Biceps mean business. Where are the biceps right here? But if we're doing a two hand tap, We'd have to be tapping kind of like this, right? Got to tap. There's another way to tap the biceps. Find a way that you can tap your biceps. Sometimes you're going to adapt so you can get the biceps. What about the triceps? How do you tap the triceps? There we go. Got the tricep tap, triceps on the back of the arm. We got the triceps. Nice. What about our obliques? What about tapping our obliques? Tapping our side, kind of tapping the side of our body. This is one way to do it. What's another way to do it, right? Wrap my arms around my body. I'll tell you what, this one's more comfortable. This one's nice, but I can do this one too. Either one. What about our abdominals? Tapping our abdominals right here in kind of the front of our body. Nice. Give it a tap, tap, two hand tap. What about going to our hips? Tapping our hips, our glute medius, right? We got muscles there that wrap around. And they connect with the leg, connect with the femur. Nice job. What about our hamstrings, the back of our legs? I'm sitting down, just tapping the back of my legs, doing a two-hand tap. All right, what about our calves, the back of our lower leg? Giving that a tap. Tapping the back of my lower leg. Let's go around and tap the side. These are our peroneums, tapping the side of our lower leg. Let's go around, tap the front. They call that the shin, but that's our tibialis or anterior tibialis. It's the, again, muscle that works with the tibia, works with the ankle and the knee. Let's go down and tap our ankles. I'm still doing this one sitting down. If you're standing up, you're squatting down doing this. This is tough. Tapping our ankles. Who's got their ankles tapping? Tapping our feet. Tapping our toes. Tapping our toes. Tapping the toes. Let's keep it going, both, and then we're going to go five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right. The only one we didn't get was our butt because I'm sitting down. A lot of us are sitting down. It's tough to tap your glute maximus when you're sitting down. 
But that's also, remember, that's the biggest muscle in our body. Very important muscle. We always want to be thoughtful about it. So now the new game is going to be to bring our arms up. We're going to hold our arms. We're going to hold them up like this. You can hold them up. You just got to have them up. You got to have them in the air. And I'm going to say uh, muscle and then the number. All right. And we're going to see how quickly you can think about getting the right tap in. All right. So if I said chest three, we would do a tap like that. Chest three. If I said shoulder two, which one was two? Left hand. Tap my left hand. All right. If I said head one, tap my head with my right hand. My right hand's one. All right. Let's try this out. It's going to be, it's going to be tough. All right. Here we go. Arms are up. Here we go. We're going to go quadriceps three. Right. Nice. Oh, I saw a lot of folks got it. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to delay mine for a second to see how many folks can get it. Let's go shoulder one. Right hand to the shoulder. Shoulder three. Shoulder three. Chest three. Chest one. Chest two. Head one. Head three. Head one. Quadriceps one. Calves two. Ankles two. Ankles one. Ankles three. Nice. That's all you got that. So we're reaching down. That was a double tap on the ankles. Let's go for a couple more of these. This is fun. I just made this up a few minutes before we logged in. All right, here we go. So our hands are up. Your deltoids are working. Your armpits are working. Here we go. Keep those arms up. Let's go hamstrings three. Hamstrings two. Hips one. Hips three. Head three. Shoulders one. Abs three. Abdominals three. Abdominals two. Abdominals one. Started that one before I even finished it. Let's go. Biceps two. Oh, I made the mistake. And how many of you also made the mistake? I did that wrong. I was reading Bernie's chat message. It also shows you how our brains work. Biceps two should have been this hand tapping this bicep. Oh, but we got it. All right, let's try to redeem. Let's go for five more. See if we can get five in a row. I saw a lot of us. We we all we all made that mistake. Here we go. Hold our hands up. Let's go. Biceps one. Biceps two. Triceps three. Abdominals three. Neck two. It's like a mosquito, right? Like the, all right, that's it. Let's have a water break. That was fun. Remember, I could feel this all throughout my arms because my arms were up. They were stabilized. We were moving around in that kind of ready position. Um, and again, it's just a fun way. Think of how quickly you learned that pattern, how you were able to identify quickly. And that's what I was talking about with the reaction is that game was helping us to work with our reaction of how quickly we can hear something and then make that movement. Some of you were reacting more visually than you were auditory. And that's what happened whenever we made the mistake on the double biceps. Um, that's because that's what you saw. But some of you heard what it was and it was two biceps. So you went with the left hand bicep. So again, good job. It's just an experiment. It's super fun to see how our brains work, how we can challenge our minds. And very easily, we can come up with ways to get our brain to fire up in new ways, learn new patterns, and become comfortable with new things. Let's go ahead and check in with, uh, ooh, I did. I checked my clock right on time. Let's have a water break. Time for water. Let's do a breath hold because I know a lot of you are always excited every workout to test your breath hold. I've heard about it from multiple people saying, I really enjoy the breath hold. It's a great way. Again, it is some peacefulness, but it's also, again, one of those things where it's helping us to connect our mind with our body. Let's do the, 
the non-traditional, the new breath hold, switching it up from Monday. And this is going to be the exhale, the third breath, and then hold. We're going to hold for 15 seconds. You can do it. And remember, what you're going to notice whenever you're done with the hold, even though you had already exhaled and you haven't breathed, you're going to want to exhale again. Remember, carbon dioxide, it's building up always in our body. So here we go. Three, two, one, breathe in. Breathe out and relax. Breathe in. Out and relax. Breathe in. Out, relax, and hold. Oh, I did an inhale. Who did an inhale today? Did you see that bit? I've been shaking his head. He's like, yep, neat. So my body was like, nope, my carbon dioxide's fine. I'll want oxygen coming back in. Very cool. Carla wants to smile and frown. And it looks like she used an emoji to depict the home alone. I love it. Carla, it is, that is terrific. It's the picture, of, if you couldn't see this because you're on, on uh, YouTube, She's in the chat room. It's a picture of a house. And then it's a picture of the, the ghost face emoji that's got its hands up on its face. All right, here we go. By special request, three, two, one, smile. The cheeks up and the, there you go. Three, two, one, frown. Long face. You're using the muscles to push your jaw kind of down too. Three, two, one. The home alone face. Uh, and relax. Remember, that was from the aftershave. Now, who knew? And I forgot because I hadn't done it in a while, but I got my passport picture taken recently. And they said, you can't, you can't show your teeth in the passport photo. I got up for my passport photo and, and I thought I was going to smile. I've been practicing my smile in our workout. So I'm I'm ready. She's like, no, 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 no. You have no teeth. Just look very neutral. And I'm like, okay. All right, everybody. We have another special request, and that is going to be for push-ups. So for push-ups, if you want to do your push-ups on the ground, maybe have a sip of water if you need it beforehand. Push-ups are tough. They're good for a pre-water sip. Um, if you want to do it on the ground, you can do it on the ground. You can do it kneeling down. You can do it on your toes. If you're like me and you're at maybe a desk, if you're at a, a surface where you can put your hands on the desk and it won't move, my desk won't move, it's up against the wall, um, then that would be okay. But if you're, if you're not in that situation and you're, and you're sitting down and you don't have a desk, you can possibly put your hands on your legs and you're just going to lower yourself down. And what you have to do, you have to think about it. This is going to be a thoughtfulness exercise. You have to transfer the energy from the press to your arms. Your body's going to want to pull you up from the core. Let your arms push you up and you'll feel it. If you, when you practice, let's do 20. You'll feel it. If you, if you really practice during these 20, you're going to feel it out. I'm going to have my hands on the desk right here. I'm going to go down and I'm going to go up. And so this is me pushed all the way up. I'm kind of pushing myself back into my seat. And then I'm bringing myself back down for the push-up. Here we go. Oh, we got Barbara's coming in. I know she loves push-ups. Barbara, she's up, I think, 100 every day. She was telling me one day. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. We're going for 20 push-ups. Going down, up, one, down, up, two, down. And keep your, keep your core engaged. There we go. Four, and down, up, five. Down. And if you need to move your hands, six, you can do that. You can find seven, find a comfortable. And remember, you want to be working your muscles in your triceps and in your shoulders and in your chest. Ten. The closer your hands get to each other, the more it's going to be in your triceps. I call that 12. 13. If my hands go out a lot further apart, 14, my chest is going to stretch more. 
And remember what happens when a muscle stretches, it gets involved, it jumps back, just like a rubber band. 17, 18, 19, and 20. So real quick, feel it out. You're gonna feel it here in your deltoid. You're gonna feel this here in the back of your arm, that's your tricep. And you're gonna feel it here where your chest is attaching. And imagine we have our, our sternum right here, right? With our, in our rib cage and our ribs in here. That chest muscle is wrapping all the way around the front part of our chest and connecting from here to there. So as my arms get full, pulled apart like this, you can see my sternum's not moving. As my arms move, my sternum's not moving, but the muscle is stretching. And if it stretches, it's gonna wanna pull back to its normal position. And great exercise, great call on that. Again, we got Sopezio Center joining us. And, you know, I am ready for a break. I think we have some leaders on here who want to show us what they got now. I might get a, a break from coming up with an exercise because I'm just going to pass that over to Byron, but I'm going to have to follow the play. And remember, everybody, Byron does his workout. Byron's on here, right? talking about him like he's on there he is i see him in the green and purple whoa man looking good today ready for mardi gras i'll tell you what who else who has a uniform like that ben the green and purple isn't there a team like that has that oh you want to go we're going to go witch's pie hey, byron can you throw in some witch's pot when you do the stick we had a special request from karen and you can just make put it a part of your routine we got Lori lee in the house we got tanya and annette Hello, hello, Jorge. Hello, Jorge. On the in tropical, nice Jorge. Me and Jorge, we are on the beach in Hawaii. I love it. Look at that. And the waves in the background. Jorge, that is incredible. All right, everybody, here we go. We're going to get Byron the big one here, get the spotlight. And I'll tell you what, Byron is starting things off with the resistance bar. He's holding it and he's putting it on the ground. You want to go spotlight too, Nick? That sounds like a good idea. All right, everybody. We're all into special requests today. And so you are going to get to see Nick attempting his best, always giving it his best, following along with Byron's moves. And Nick is going to be doing this with the pool noodle. Now, remember, everybody, that pool noodle, when you're doing the witch's pot, it's all about pressure. Here we go, guys. We got our two buddies here. Tyler's in the house too, and Carl. Yeah, Jamie. And Alicia, here we go, holding it up by our neck, holding it up by our chin, holding it up with two hands, with the knuckles up, Nick, knuckles up. There you go. Going knuckles up and going over the head, over the head press. This is the overhead press. This is a classic exercise, bringing it up and down with the elbows, bringing it up, bringing it down, and find a nice pace that's good for you. You can see Byron, he's got a nice, remember, this is called the tempo and you can do all exercises with tempo. All exercises can be done fast, slow, or you could even you can even pause. There you go. He's bringing it up to the top. Both of the guys moved backwards a little bit. Now they're moving forwards, holding that bar up at the chest, reaching out in front, doing a little push, and then a little raise. Nice job flipping knuckles down. We got knuckles pointing down at the ground. There we go. Byron's holding the bar with the biceps. And it's that bicep curl, everybody lowering it down to the legs and then picking it up. This is all about getting your elbows working. And there you go. Hold it halfway down though, Nick. There you go. Bring it halfway down and then lock in the biceps. There you go. We're going to have Carla coming up next with the weight, everybody. And so make sure you got your weight standby. There you go. Byron's holding the bar. He's still doing the bicep hold. This is an isometric hold with the biceps. And he's walking forward and backward. And remember when we talked about the backwards movement, when I was in the gym yesterday, I was doing the backwards bear crawls. And I'll tell you what, moving backwards and sideways, like Byron's moving sideways right now, moving to his left and then moving to his right. Look at that, working on the cross step with the feet, working on the shuffle, going side to side. Also ready for the dance floor. All right, Byron's going ahead. He's moving a little bit over here, going to the, the right side over there. Nick's moving around his space. Alicia's moving around her space. Nice job, Carl. Carl's also got the pool noodle. Nice job, Carl's moving that pool noodle. He's got it going. Now we're going for a spin. Looks like Byron's doing the baton spin. Is he? 
He did just one spin. There we go. Nice job. And once you get it spun up, oh, there he goes. He is spinning it, everybody. So get that baton spin going. And let's follow along with Byron as he's doing a spin. And nice job, my friend Carl. I saw him with the pool noodle just a moment ago. And now look at him go. Byron, you are a great leader. Nick, you are a great athlete following along. And Carl, he's got the pool noodle. He's following along too. He's in on pool noodle mode. Nice job, everybody. Keep it spinning. Byron's doing a little tap on the ground. And now he's standing it up on the ground like it's a tree coming out of the ground. Imagine it's a tree coming out of the ground and you got to plant it there. You got to hold it there. And you're going to go up and down the tree. You're checking out the tree, making sure all the branches are okay. We call this the inchworm. There you go, Nick. Nick's using pressure, everybody. Try. There you go, Nick. Try your best not to. Oh, nice job, Byron. You are giving Nick a great challenge there. Excellent job. Nice job. Carl's got it too. There we go. All right. Byron's now going behind the head. With the bar, he's got it up there behind his head. And he's got a nice stretch going for the chest. Remember, we talked about that. Where we're stretching our chest. There we go, everybody. There you go. Alicia's got her bar. We're bringing it up behind the head and behind the neck. And if you can't hold it with two hands, if you can, if you don't even have a bar, you can bring your arms up in the W position. And that's kind of where we are. Now, it looks like Byron's doing the lumberjack where he's putting it on one shoulder. This is a great technique if you're ever carrying something. This is why the lumberjacks do it. They got to carry things around. Nice job. There we go. Alicia's got it. Carl's got it. And Carl, there you go. Just imagine you got the ax and move it from one shoulder to the other. Carl, there you go. Lifting it up and you're going to go from one side to the other. And then we'll put it behind our back. Nice job. There we go. Behind our back, lowering down for the back stretch. Byron's. Remember this exercise, it's like you're looking down at the ground. And again, we're doing gardening maybe. We're looking down there for any weeds we got to pick out of the ground or anything we got to clean up. He's going with a little bit of a twisty move. There we go, nice move, Carl. There you go again with the bow. And then we're doing a little bit of a twist. Doing a left to right twist. This is gonna work our hips. Nice job, Tyler, there you go, man. I'm doing it with my, I don't have a bar either. I just got my hands kind of on my hips and we're doing the twist. Tyler's got the twist going. Tyler was saying hi on the True Fit Adaptive Fitness app. I love that. That was awesome, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say what's up back on that. I'm gonna get on the app today. Here we go. Here's for Karen. Karen was asking for it and here it is. I think after the witch's pot, we're gonna get the sandbag coming up next. So be ready for that sandbag exercise. But right now we got Byron on the, on the witch's pot. He's stirring it up. There we go. Alicia's got it going. Go for a while on this, Byron. We got to really stir it up. Somebody let it sit for a while. I think that was my fault. I forgot to stir it. And there you go. We're getting to see Nick. He's got to work on pressure. Byron's working on pressure too, because if he pushes too hard, the stick, it can slide out of the place. He don't want that to happen. He's trying to lock it in place. And there he goes. He's setting it down, everybody. Nice job, Carl. You, you could be in the Marines too, Carl, with that baton spin. Excellent job. Now, if you have an exercise pillow or a, a, a sandbag, maybe even like a stuffed animal, you can do a lot of these exercises with that. Byron has switched over to the sandbag. Go ahead, everybody, and, and start off with the sandbag twist. Now, we were doing the stick twist, and now the sandbag, so he's moved the weight in front of the body before the weight was behind the body with the stick. Now the weight's in front, so he's using the muscles of his back, and he's moving it around, taking it behind his back, bringing it down off the ground. We call that the hot potato, and that's one time around the sun. There we go. Going one trip around the sun with a hot potato just for fun, bringing it down between the knees. You got to watch out in spring for those bees. There you go. Got to swipe them out of the way. All right, there we go. He's boxing it out. He's got that single arm. I like that where he's using one arm is, is all free. No weight. Call that free weight. And then the other hand, he's punching out with the weight in his hand. And there we go. It's a boxing move. It, here we go. I was When I was at the gym yesterday, there was guys in there boxing. They were getting a great workout. Byron's dropping the sandbag. He's going for the boxing match. Here we go. Alicia's ready. Nick is ready. Here we go. Alicia, let's go. We got to get our hands up. And here we go. We're bringing it up. We're throwing in those punches. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it boxing. We're bringing Alicia into this. And I'm getting into it, too. We're all going to get into these moves. Keep it going, Byron. Let's go for a big old round of boxing. Here we go. Arms up. 
and we're boxing, Nick's boxing. We got Alicia. She's telling us all to stop. He said, you better watch what you're doing. I'm going to bring out some moves. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Boxing and I'm going across the body. Bringing it over. Nick's bringing in his feet. There we go, Alicia. She's putting it down. She said, enough of this. I'm getting in on the action, too. I'm doing some blocks. There we go. Byron's bringing in block moves. He's got his knuckles up. He's got his elbows up. Alicia's like, hold on. I'm stepping away for a moment to get something. Keep it going, Byron. Keep it moving and grooving. Keep it going. Keep it going. Nick's going. There we go. Alicia's being like, you know what? I just got this glass of water right here. I don't want any trouble, but I will. I'll give you some trouble. And here we go. She's doing it. Oh, hold on. I'm going to take a sip of water. All right. Boom, boom, boom. She's on the punching bag like Byron. There we go. Everybody, let's go for 20 seconds on the punching bag. Keep it going, Byron. There you go. Alicia's showing us. She's throwing a block. I'm still on the punching bag. Oh, we're watching. We're blocking kicks. I'm on the punching bag. I'm watching Alicia's moves. Keeping that glass up in the air. I like it. I'm going to hold my water bottle up, too. Like, I don't want any trouble. I just got my water. Hey, oh, I'm going to get you with my water. Here we go. Splash you in the face with some water. Hey, you got somebody's coming up behind you. Get them with that water. Keep it going, Alicia. She's like, I'm not going to drop this. This is expensive water. And I'm not going to be spilling it and splashing it. Ah, oh, maybe I will. Here we go with a headbutt. Byron's going into some more moves. Keep it going, everybody. Nick's getting down low. He looks like he just picked up something. He's got some, oh, and Alicia just gave a big right hand, a right side kick. There we go. A nice job, Alicia. That was the left foot, actually. She did a left side kick. She's spinning around. I'm starting to take some hits. I'm getting tired, everybody. I'm going into blocking mode. I don't know if I can make it too much longer. Byron's still going. I don't know if I can make it. I'm going to have to get out of here. These three are still going. Here we go. Byron's throwing down moves. Nick's still up. He's still going. Byron, Nick's got moves. Byron's got moves. Alicia's got some moves going. Everybody at home, come on, get involved. Remember to keep your weights ready because Carla's coming up next with some weight training. Alicia, she's spun around. We think she's leaving. Oh, no, she's not. She's going to kick. She's doing a kick. Oh, she got Nick. Nick, she got you right there. Oh, boom, Byron, she got you. Byron, she got you with the back kicks. Alicia is the only one left with the glass. Alicia is the winner. And she has made it with the unspilled beverage. Nice job, Alicia. And she's going to have another quick sip just for fun. Alicia, that was awesome. Great job, everybody there. That was a lot of fun. That's what fitness is supposed to be like, everybody. We want to be able to just kind of get carried away with having a good time, with moving our bodies. And you know what I like is the most is using my imagination. This might be the most creative and imaginative that we're that we might be this morning now if you're like our friend sandy you know she's probably painted a couple masterpieces and she probably has even written a poem by lunch but you know this is what it's all about it's being creative and that's what martial arts and music arts and crafts um even gardening even getting involved in a garden. I know I've talked to uh, one of our team leaders and she's going to be having a patio garden. That's incredible. And so think about, again, we've got the Hawaii background. Think about springtime as a time for us to really flourish and to kind of get our gardens kind of ready to grow so that when summer comes around, we're going to have some activities. I'm going to plan some things for us to do this summer. The race for autism was just the beginning, but we're going to have some activities coming up. Right now, what we got coming up is Carla. And I'll tell you what, everybody, she's got some weights. I need to have a sip of water. Everybody have a sip of water. And then I'm going to use my water bottle as my weight. Oh, she looks like she's got a heavy weight, though. Oh, my gosh. Is that? How heavy is that? That's an eight. eight ounce. Ounce. I thought it was a six when I said it was heavy, but then it's an eight. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Ready? We're going to do, going to do curls. Bicep One, curl. Here we go. Make sure your caps two, on tight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Switch. Switch it up. Nice. Uno, 13. dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Ocho, nueve, diez, and then to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's switch. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. And then we're going to do the uno, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's actually Liberty. Uno. Well, I got an idea for this. Let's go. What? One, uno. Oh, okay. Two. Okay. Dos. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah, right. it'll be fun. Here we go, everybody. We're going to do One. alternating arms and alternating language. Here we go. Okay. All right. One, dos, uno, three, cuatro, five, seis, seis, seis six, seven, eight, ocho, nueve. 10, 11, 12, 12, 14, 13. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. This is fun, everybody. This is, a, we're getting a mind workout. Oh my God, it's tough to do it. All right, let's try. Let's, let's, do, let's do one more and we'll do a uh, regular count. Um, let's go, oh let's like go re regular count in, in Espanol. Okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. And then switch and learn English. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. That's a good workout. That was a great workout. Great job, See you Carla. Friday. Give Carla a round of applause. And just like See she Friday. mentioned, Friday, Friday, we have, remember, two things happen on Friday. Friday, we have our workout at 11. But then if you're still up at six, I know many of you are. And even if you want to maybe like have a, something to watch while you're having dinner, well, at six o'clock, we do the fitness social and it's kind of like a hangout. You hang out. We talk about fitness things. Uh, the last fitness social, we walked, we watched a great video um, about how when you exhale, that you're actually exhaling um, carbon dioxide, CO2, in your, your body, when we burn fat, we turn fat, we burn it up, and a lot of it, 80%, becomes carbon dioxide. So if we think about that, that means that when we're exhaling, we're breathing out the exhaust from our uh, body, the fat stores. So it's kind of it's kind of neat when you understand your body and understand how it works. Uh, you have a greater advantage of reaching your goals if those goals are going to be health and wellness and being strong and active. You know, our friend Byron on here, what a wonderful example of a, a you know a, the longevity with the fitness. And Byron, you got some great moves, my friend. That was excellent. And, I, you know, I thought for a second that you might have had Alicia going. Um, but I'll tell you what, Alicia brought those two kicks. And that finished us off. That was the rest of the show. I thought that was fun. Did anybody else think that was fun? We did our martial arts battle. Um, I thought that was a good time. And remember, if you're just watching the workout, think to yourself about maybe doing some exercises like this later on in the day. If you're feeling a little bit more energized later on in the day. Maybe you're working out with a family member or a friend. Maybe they can help by setting up some like targets with maybe their hands or something. And you can work on some, some punches. You can work on some movements from the shoulders and the elbow. And uh, again, that's our goal is to just really get our, get our body moving in all the great ways that we can. And again, we really appreciate when our, our family members and our staff and our friends, especially the staff members, the, the folks who, you know, they come over for a little while and we're, we're really, you know, working together to work as that team. You know, those are some great moments when we can bring that fitness into it. And I really appreciate that. I see 
a lot of folks helping out uh, in the background. I can see you helping out there and I really do appreciate it. I know the folks that we're working with have that appreciation and, and folks out there who are unaware of just how powerful that help is, they're becoming more aware. And that's, that's really powerful. And I think the a level of appreciation is only gonna grow for the folks who are helping us to be our best. Cause we all, we all need help, even myself. There's times when I'm working on something and I need to reach out for help. I need to find somebody who could be uh, maybe a, a assistant or maybe a, a teammate with me. Maybe it's just something where I just need a helping hand. And you've seen in the studio at times where me and Nick have been working out together. And, um, you know, just a, a simple support at the elbow has just been so much. And, and it means so much when we have that, that physical um, connection and do it all with exercise. Everybody, we only have just a few more moments to go, but we do have time to do 55 jumping jacks. And I know my friend Bernie is always up to do some jumping jacks. Now, I don't know if she's still feeling like 55 or if she thinks maybe we do a little less because it's at the end of the workout. But I think we got enough time. We'll have a sip of water. Let's take in a couple of nice deep breaths. We're going to take a note of our pulse. We all just rested for a few minutes while I was talking. We were all resting. So we're going to take a note of our pulse and then we're going to perform our, our jacks and we're going to see how that pulse is feeling. So everybody, Bernie, are you ready? We're going to bring you on up here. We only got time for the jacks, but I think everybody's going to really enjoy it. And let's have that sip of water to be our last exercise sip. The next sip of water will be after our workout. Maybe before the breathing model, we're going to get more water and don't worry, everybody. I saw Sandy. She's like, nope, Coach John, you're going to be drinking more water. You just hold on. All right. So we're going to go 55 and uh, with a nice deep breath before. Mm -hmm. Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, everybody. One, two, three, four, arms up, five, six, there you go, seven, get moving, eight, here we are, nine, this is the grand finale, here we go, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, go everyone, 17, 18, 19, and 20, even if you just clap your hands, 22, 23, 24, clap your hands, keep it going, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Get those arms up, buddy. There you go. 38, 39 and 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49 and five more. 51, 52, 53, 54 and 55. Yes, it's actually 56. I miscount. I counted 25 twice. Mm -hmm. My head and then now. Uh, nice. Check those heartbeats, everybody. Mine got going. It's different. I can feel the difference. It's a it's a real quick way for you to connect with your heart and also take thought of your breathing. Are you breathing a little bit out of the ordinary, a little abnormal? Um Ben, what do you think? We got anybody for at the end or just keep it like it is? Bernie requested. That's fine. Oh, look at this. Nice. Look at that, Bernie. I didn't even know. I didn't see that. Ben's on top of things. Again, great job, everybody, to Ben and Carrie. Carrie started us off with the Breathe Motto. Bernie, you got Breathe Motto coming up, okay? You go ahead and take, take another uh, moment to take a deep breath. Uh, but again, a great job. Great job. And even Karen's in there. Okay. That's okay. Nice. Wonderful. Look at that. We got comments, fun workout, everybody. Bernie, are you ready to do the breathing motto and bring it on home? You ready to do one? Five, four, three, two, one. 
Okay. In the back. Bring it happy. And then sad. Bring it back. Bring out the words. Bring it power. Thank you, Yes, nice job, Bernie. Great job again to Bernie and everybody who was on here today for this workout. This was so much fun. The Hawaiian background was great, everybody. Again, thanks to Ben and Bernie and Byron and Alicia and Carla and Nick getting involved. Again, we couldn't, we couldn't do this without y'all, everybody. This is a fantastic. This is peer leadership. And there's this is just the beginning, everybody. We are really getting cranked.